Welcome to this training video. Here we will present how to define different reinforced concrete sections in our software program DPEX and how to apply these sections in different wall depths. DPEX is our software program for deep excavation design and analysis. It can design any common wall type and support system using different analysis methods. In this example, we will create a 12 meters deep touch and pile wall with 0.6 meters diameter reinforced concrete piles. Different reinforcement layout will be used in different parts along the pile depth. Here we will show how to create different wall sections inside our software program DPEX, how to define the common and the custom reinforcement layouts, and we will also show how to use the additional wall elements tool in order to draw the new wall parts along the main wall. Inside the software we can double click on the wall and here we will select to edit the structural section for our wall. On the first wall section which is included here we can edit the name and this one we will name 0.6 meters 6D18. We will select to use a touch and pile wall and we can go to the concrete tribar tab where we will select to use 6 bars V18 and we will also change the CR reinforcement to be V8 bars every 12 centimeters. Here we can see the created section. We will select to add a new section in the list and we will edit its name and this one we will be the 0.6 meter tangent piles with 10 bars V18 which will have the custom layout. We will go to the custom rebar tab where we will select to use custom reinforcement. We can select to edit the reinforcement and here to the right we can select to add a single bar. We can click on the model area and we can define the exact position of the selected bar and the bar diameter. We can repeat this procedure in order to define all the bars in our custom reinforced concrete section layout. As soon as we import all the different rebars, we can close this dialog. And here we will change the CR reinforcement for the middle part to be V8 every 10 centimeters. If we go to the Draw tab, we can see the generated section. Now we will select to add the last wall section in our list of wall sections. And for this one, in the Concrete Ripper tab, we will select to not use custom reinforcement. We will use for the longitudinal reinforcement 8 ribbers V18 and we will use V8 every 12 centimeters for the CR reinforcement. We will edit the name and now we actually created all the different sections that we need for this example. We will close this dialog and here we will readjust the depth for the first wall part. It will start from the top elevation 0 and it will go 4 meters down using this 6 rebars V18 uh, section. Next we will go to the edit first wall button and we will select the option draw left wall element. We will click to the top and to the bottom for the middle section. We will assign the structural section for the middle part and we will define the top elevation to be at minus 4 and the bottom elevation to be at minus 8 meters. We press OK and we can see that the middle wall part is generated. We will repeat the procedure to actually draw and define the properties of the bottom part where we will select the section with the 8 rebars D18. It will start from minus 8 meters and it will stop at minus 12 meters elevation. We press OK and the third wall part is created. We will add here a construction stage and in this stage 1 we will choose to excavate on the right side of the wall to elevation minus 3 meters. We will add a new stage and we will select the tool to draw a tieback support. We click on the wall and to the ground.
And in the dialog that appears, we define the exact elevation of the tiebreaker on the wall to elevation minus 2.5 meters, the installation angle to be 20 degrees, and we will also change the free and fixed lengths. We press OK, and the changes pass to the tieback. We will add a last stage, and here we will excavate to elevation minus 6 meters, and we will also dewater to the same elevation on the right side of the wall. We select to analyze the model, and in the analysis checking summary table that appears, we can review the most critical results. On the model area, we can see the different moment capacities of the different parts of the wall due to the different used reinforcement. And here we can see the different shear capacities because of the different spacing that we assigned for the shear reinforcement. And we can also review different results like the soil pressures and displacements. Visit our websites in order to review more information about our software programs and services. If you wish to arrange a free online presentation with one of our technical experts, feel free to contact us. Thank you for watching this video.